So today we are in Jackson's room and I just really quick wanted to do a nursery organization tour because some people had asked for it but I wanted to wait till I Jackson was like he's two months old now and I want to make sure like my system was working out and there weren't th there wasn't things I was going to change that's why I didn't do it once I had my system down before he came when I was pregnant but my system has worked I haven't changed anything so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys his dresser his closet and what's in the drawers obviously but he also has something in his closet um this got drawers too so I'm just going to show you guys all of that okay so in the first drawer I'm going to go through it is cloth diapers there's some more back there um there's some more in the back um cloth diapers these are all bum genius these are some cheap covers I got on the wish app and some um inserts I got just the uh Ugh, what are these called? Just went blank. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Those are just some inserts I bought for the cheap covers. And then over here I have cloth wipe stuff. And this is the solution bottle to just spray it on and wipe. And this is only for PPs. But I'm going to be really honest. <laughs> I had a C-section and then I'm still not adjusted to my heart medicine. And so I haven't got around to making the solution and moving to cloth wipes for PPs. But I, am, I need to because I don't want to waste a bunch of wipes on just um, PP when like disposable ones when I could be using these and washing them with the cloth diapers or just his regular laundry because it's just wiping. Um, okay, that's that drawer. This drawer is um, bibs. I have more bib storage downstairs and this is extra burp cloth. I keep burp cloth in our room, burp cloths in here and burp cloths downstairs. I feel like I'm saying cloths funny. I don't know, it's weird. Um, this is kind of like, random stuff um this is little soft baby things people gave us with pacifiers this is his sun hat and then like mittens people gave us these i'm probably gonna store these soon because these didn't really he couldn't really use them very long his fingers are so long now if i put these on him he just like can get it off in an instant so yeah um what else is in here just mittens and stuff I have this little passy holder we like. Um, he doesn't like the passy that goes on it just yet, but I have used it a few times for, um, and this was from Crystal, Liam has a matching one. I have used it a few times for his MAM ones, but the ribbon gets like bunched up. But I think once he moves from the MAM ones to like um, the Dr. Brown's ones, this is gonna work really good. And it came with a passy. So um, it's just super cute and it's soft and it just clips on, so there's that. But I keep it in here for now until he's ready to use it. Then I have some different kind of passy clips and I just keep them in here because they don't go with his MAM ones yet. The MAM ones are the only ones he'll use right now, but I'm sure in the future he'll use something else. Um, and then his little sunglasses, which some of my friends, babies, can wear sunglasses really well. And Jackson has a giant head and these are like baby sunglasses. Well, they're up to two, so it might've gotten too big, but. Um, Jackson has a giant head and <laughs> they just they fit him a little bit width wise but they're just too long um, and these are the kind that you can't um, holy crap I said you can't break and then I think I just broke them oh wait no I didn't <laughs> okay yeah they're like made to uh, be pretty indestructible um, I say that but holy shit I oh wait no I didn't okay I thought I broke it but it was bent wow I'm stupid um, anyways but yeah um, they're bendable, flexible, and they're pretty cool. So, you know, they're not constantly breaking them, but I mean, the Dollar Tree has kids' sunglasses, really. Oh, sorry, and these are all his hats. He loves hats. We love hats for him. Um, I'm about to have to store these hats. These are supposed to be up to three months, but like I said, Jackson has a giant head, but we just really love these skull cap hats. Um, so that's where I store them. And then this is his disposable diaper changing drawer. Um, these are seventh generation diapers. We don't, there's not Huggies in here. I just um, took the container from one of my friends when they were done with it. 
um, and I just use it for his seventh generation wipes. I always keep an extra package of wipes in here just in case this runs out, but um, yeah, I didn't feel like buying. I don't do, I don't like wipe warmers only because it's like they can't use them when they're out and you can warm it with your hand. And um, it's, you know, a few times Justin said he's wanted to get one maybe, but um, then we'd have to get one for downstairs and um, so yeah, I just use this for his wipes. That's what I'm getting at. I don't think there's anything wrong with wipe warmers. I just, I think Jackson's fine without one. I'll just leave it at that. Um, and then I have some Burt's Bees diaper cream stuff, um, ointment, um, some lotion, nighttime lotion for him, some uh, Neosporin in case he scratches his face, hairbrush, these little bags for poo-poo um, because we don't use... We don't use gar uh, garbage pails, diaper pails. And then this is just a, oop, this is a light that my aunt gave him. It's a moon. She sent it with some um, onesies and stuff, but it would be kind of weird to just randomly hang in his room. But I thought it'd be fun for like, as he gets older, to let him like hold it and play with it while he changes. And, and Liam, um, my best friend's son, has actually, last time he was here, like, uh, she, I told her to let him have it, and it kept him distracted. And I just thought it was fun to keep it here, um, something to hold on to and keep him distracted during diaper changes. Um, and he can play with it when he's older, but for right now, he's tiny, so we don't use it quite yet. So in here, um, these labels are falling off, but I'll show you guys the labels in a second. I um, need to get the proper labels from my label maker to stay on these. These are just... Um, Organizer things from Ikea. They're fairly inexpensive. We use them in our drawers as well. And I have these labels that keep falling off from my label maker. I need to get a stronger one. But I use them so I remember what's in here. Um, I'm a very, like, simplistic person with decorating and clothes and stuff like that. I don't, I don't have, like, too much. And you might notice in some of this stuff there's room to grow. But I don't buy stuff just because I have the space. So um, y'all notice that in the closet. Um, okay, so this is all his newborn sleepers. He's still wearing newborns in that. Um, these are zero to three month sleepers. So I only put sleepers in drawers, socks, and um, pants that don't have matching shirts. And y'all will see what I'm talking about in the closet. No, I really did. This is popping off completely. Um, so yeah, and then those are his socks that fit pretty much socks through six months fit him now. Um, so yeah, and these are, like I said, pants that don't have matching tops. That's a swimsuit. Um, he has a swimsuit hanging, but the swimsuit has a matching swim shirt. So I put it down here with the pants. Those pants are zero to three month pants. So for this, when I first started this drawer, I didn't have as many sleepers and that's why I don't have an organizer for those just yet. But what I did when I didn't have that many, <laughs> this is peeling off as I'm filming, um, I did three to six months and this is six to nine months. And I did that originally because I didn't have a lot of sleep sleepers, so it's like half and half in there. And then as I started getting overflow, I put it there for now. And once I move, once he outgrows the newborns, then I'll kind of readjust all that. Then over here we have pants that don't have matching tops like in the other drawer. And back there, is socks. Um, those socks are, I don't know if those socks fit. Let me see. These socks are three to 12 months, but probably when he's around three months, I'm going to try them on. Um, I keep the, let's see, I keep the three to zero to six month socks in that drawer, but I keep anything that has 12 months in this drawer. And um, those are down there are holiday socks. And I put them on this side because when those holidays come around, he'll be closer to this age. And so I don't know if that makes sense, but they, he won't be in those until that time of year because they're like holiday related socks. Okay, this whole drawer is just um, mostly pajamas. And this is the nine to 12 month pajamas. And <laughs> I think, I think I started adding 18 month in here as well. Um, this is like nine to 12, 12 month for sure. And then 18 month stuff is over here. And I just haven't created labels for them because we're so far away from being there. Um, but again, this is his just jammies. And then back here, I do have like a pair of jeans, um, a couple pairs of jeans sque like squeezed back there. 
but yeah, that's like where that's in the way future. So I haven't been so nutty with the labels. Okay, so like I said, I do have some unused cloth clothing drawers. And right now he doesn't have a ton of toys, but this is all his toys and stuff that he does have. Um, some toys for when it gets a little bit bigger, um, some balls and stuff. Um, I keep his stuffed animals in here that he likes a lot, like his lovies. Um, that was given to us by one of my friends and he really likes that one and he really likes this one. So even though they're kind of like stuffed animals-ish, I guess I keep them in here because he likes them during tummy time especially. Um, so I do have another place I keep stuffed animals, but these two, um, especially that when he likes during tummy time to cuddle with. So that's why I keep it in here and yeah. That's his last drawer. Okay, so this is his closet. Um, up there is a box of, it was Pampers stuff, Swaddler stuff I used when he was first born from way back when I couponed before going cruelty free. But when the box was empty, I saved it. And right now that's where I'm putting all the clothes he outgrows. So right now there's just preemie clothes in that. And um, that's all that's in there. And then <laughs> I don't really have anything else up there. Like I said, just because I have the space, I try not to I try not to fill it just because of the space is there. So then these are his clothes, and um, I'll get closer to that and show you guys in a second. But well, hold on. I'm trying to use my tripod so I don't make y'all dizzy. This is I got these little rings at Hobby Lobby, and they're they divide stuff by age. So um, I'll show you all the what's that? You'll see that now. Um, I'll show you all the dividers in a second. Um, after I finish doing this part of the closet. So then you come down here and we have this bookshelf. This did not come built in. It's different than the shelf up here. Um, Justin added that and I had cut the uh, <laughs> this bar um, a long time ago. when This was just a guest closet because I used some storage on the side. But um, I kept the rack down there for when he's bigger. Clothes get bigger and they take up more space the older they get. So uh, I am concerned considering that and leaving that space there for that. Um, and so this is a shelf Justin added and this is his bookshelf. I really want to buy him more books. Um, and once we finish like doing my office into a playroom, then we will have like space for books in there as well. But for now, this is where we keep all his books and um, his little flashcards that we work on that will go in the playroom too. And yeah, that's that. So coming down, for now I have his nightstand in here and um, in this drawer here, there's nothing in that but warranty stuff from all the baby stuff we got like his halo bassinet and his crib and just like anything like warranty related. Right now I put in there um, and then down here is a basket he got in his shower. When he was in preemie clothes, I just put them all into that instead of organizing up in the drawers and stuff because I had already organized the drawers and I knew he'd probably only be in them for like a month to six weeks and he was in them for six weeks so he didn't have a ton of preview clothes. My dad bought him a few like full outfits, a bunch of onesies and pants um, and some sleepers and um, so that is where we kept his preview clothes. Right now there's nothing in it. Um, and then down there I have seventh generation wipes, um, the antibacterial wipes I keep in here for, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Down here I have a hamper. I got that at Ikea and that is his, um, where I put his dirty laundry. And there is, there's like a thing that comes over the top so you can like fold it over, but I just keep it open. I don't see the point in using it. So I took a second to take this off the tripod, but up here I have some old toys, well they're old toys, they're new toys, but um, stuff I used when we had nieces and nephews and stuff like that over that I'm gonna use in his playroom. But for now I put them there and then down there is his bumbo seat that he can't use yet. So I just store it up there. And then this is what I was talking about with the clothes. So it doesn't have a newborn um, tag thing. So I put the newborns here, then it goes zero to three months, um, three to, let's see, three to six, six to nine, um, I think it's nine to 12, and then 12 to 18 months, and anything past, I'll show you when we get to that side, but um, in here, what I was saying about 
stuff that doesn't have a pant, doesn't have pants. So outfits like this, like these Carter's outfits, that outfits, that's not a word, Heather, that come together, I hang the pants on the hanger under there. So, um, like, yeah, I hope that makes sense. If it's an outfit and has matching pants, I put it together. Some of the Carter stuff comes with like two tops and pants. And at first I thought that was so weird. Like what was the point of that? Until I realized because they can spit up in a day and you just need to change their top and you can reuse the pants. Um, so I guess I never realized that because when I nannied and stuff or at the school, when the kids would spit up, we changed their whole outfit. And I did the same thing with my niece, but... Um, yeah, when I, when I had a GERD baby who projectile vomits and spits up a lot, I learned real quick that that's very convenient. So yeah, if, okay, so I keep, if the outfit has like two tops and a pair of pants, I put the pair of pants on one of the hangers and I keep the two tops together. So I hope that makes sense. And then everything else hanging is like, I hang onesies, even if they don't have pants, I hang like shirts and I hang like rompers. So I hope that makes sense and we'll move to this. So of course we've already gone over the clothes so I don't feel like we need to go over that again. Um, this is an organizing drawer thing from the container store and it used to be a part of a giant closet system I had growing up <laughs> um, in my my house growing up um, in my childhood closet um, and once I moved out as an adult um, eventually my dad redid my closet in there and he got rid of a lot of this stuff and this was one of the things he got rid of and I just took it because it can sit freestanding and for the longest time I used it in my craft room and once I started working on the nursery I moved it in here. Um, so up here we have the puppy you guys see in all his monthly pictures, the puppy chair we got and when he's able to use that I'll bring it out. I'll probably use it in the living room but I store that in here for now. Over here in between the wall, I have um, some packages of stuff he can't play with yet that we got um, like a table he stands up at and um, I also store some stuff from his play mat in there, but I use that space for stuff he can't use that's in boxes still. Moving on, I'm sure eventually he will need this, whatever house we're in for storage for clothes because as you get bigger, obviously your clothes get bigger, they take up more space. But for now, this is what we have in here. Um, so I have shoes that people have given us. I have not bought them any shoes yet, but people have given us shoes. Over here I have different um, like diaper bag wipe organizer things I'm not using right now. And then we keep his monthly um, stickers in here. And like I said, I have some stuff for the diaper bag that we're just not using now. Somebody gave us this at our shower. And so I just keep it in here. These shoes are too big for him still, but I keep them in there. In this drawer I have, sorry, in this drawer I have all of his carriers. So I have his Ergo, I have my Moby Wrap, and I have a sling somebody sent us as a gift. And um, he does not like the, sli the sling right now. I've tried it several times, but I'm hoping as he gets older, he might like it. So that is our carrier drawer. Okay, this is the junkiest drawer in his room. <laughs> it's, it kind of annoys me in a way, but it is what it is. So this is one of those cart um, restaurant uh, high chair play things, but obviously he can't use it yet. But um, it also turns into a play mat, so it is opened because I'm going to start taking it to family members' houses, like grandparents' house when we go, so he can lay on his play mat. Um, so I pulled it out the other day and let him try it out, and so I am going to start taking this with us for that until he's ready to use it in the car and stuff. This is something I registered for, but this is where I store it for now. Um, and then down there, I have outfits I bought at Walmart that are like size two and three and stuff like that, but they were on clearance for a dollar, so I just got them. Usually I don't get clothes that big, but um, I just store them there for now because I don't really know where else to put them and they won't fit. I need to stop buying clothes because I can't stand when stuff's too crowded. Um, and then this is the Play Baby, or Amber and Ralph's Practice Baby from when I was pregnant that we practiced with how to be with a baby, and that worked out, but um, <clears throat> I'm gonna move it to the playroom once he's older and has a toy box or I mean I'm gonna put it in the toy box once we build it in the playroom but. so anyways I'm saving that baby till we finish the playroom and I'll store it in there for when he gets old enough to play with stuff like that 
So um, this is our blanket drawer. We keep our quilts in there. These quilts are the two that will be in his bed once it's safe for him to have blankets. And um, But for now I store them in here, just all these extra blankets, extra sheets, um, extra bop, boppy covers, stuff like that. That's all that's in here. Last thing we have is the stuffed animal drawer. That is mine from when I was younger and went to Disney. And I was very meticulous with my stuffed animals and I did not let them get dirty. And so um, I found that at my dad's house. I was like, okay, this needs to go in Jackson's stuffed animal drawer. But this is stuff that people have given him or stuff we've bought him. Um, I don't want him to have so many stuffed animals, but I know I can't really control that. But um, for now, they're contained to this drawer until he's old enough to kind of start playing with them. Um, and they'll probably end up going in his toy box as he um, gets older. But I know you can hang stuff in the room and stuff like that if, you, if you're looking for an option for stuffed animals. I think my friend got one of those things where you can hang them. Um, I'm really crazy about our theme matching and keeping everything really clean and crisp. So this is how I store them out of sight. That's just what I prefer. But there's a lot of storage options for stuffed animals. I've seen like really cool wall mounts and stuff like that. But for us, this is what works. Um, so that's the rest of his stuff. That was the last drawer. Okay, so that's Jackson's dresser organization and his closet organization. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you later. Bye.